Today I'm here to talk to you about how to sell your art online. Now, you're not too old and it's not too late to start or maybe you've been selling your art for a while and you want to get online and try to reach more people and maybe you're like me in your 50s. I'm 54 and I've been doing this for, I've been selling my art since about 2012. And before that I was a graphic designer and so I've always and an illustrator and I've always had art in my life so you may be like me or maybe you have just gotten to a point in your life to where art has really taken hold of you and, and maybe it was COVID right uh, maybe you decided that you wanted to try your hand at art and it's taken off or maybe you want it to take off and we see these young people no shade we were once young, right? They don't think of that, right? We don't think of that sometimes. But we're, if you're like me in your 50s, then you weren't raised with online computers and all that. That came a little bit later. And so it's maybe not natural for us to be in front of the camera all the time. I know that it's hard for me to get here in front of the camera. I'd much rather just film myself painting and then do a voiceover, which you can totally do. But the main thing about selling your art online nowadays, I think, is, and, and you've been able to sell for a while, but I think it shifted before it was having all this beautiful curated work, say on Instagram or even Facebook. And now it's more about showing in this word is so overused your authentic self but it's so true you know things that are not things things that are hat that are cliche they come from a reason right because they've been said so many times so you have to show yourself your all your imperfections look at all this i, I keep twisting my words <laughs> but that's just kind of who I am I talk like this in real life too yes my friends my brain is way a way ahead of my mouth my mouth is not able <laughs> to get the words out that I want and I went through a lot of uh, insecurity about that and it's just not it's not that important let your true self come out into everything you do you do it with your art I hope right that's what you're doing with your paintings or your sculpture or mixed media or whatever it is you do it is your authentic personality that needs to shine through and that's why we have friends right because certain people just connect with us and we want to know more about those friends that we feel a kinship with and and it, even little minute things are interesting to us because the person is interesting to us and we like them so there's going to be times that you're in front of the camera that you're like oh my god why did i say that uh, i do it all the time <laughs> or why didn't i say that and you know it's just just let it roll continue on we have so much to give whether you're in your 40s 50s 60s 70s 80s 90s i don't care how old you are if you have the passion put in your heart to create art then i kind of feel like it's our duty to get that out there with the world it isn't going to do any good painting and putting it in the closet or just hanging it on your own wall I guess it does kind of do good right if you get to live with your own art that's a good thing but art is meant to be shared at least that's my feeling and I think it, it's just raised in us from a time from we're little we're like hey mom look what I did you know you know here look look this is for you mom that's us no it's not upside down anyway just, you know, it's just in human nature to want to share. I think it goes back to caveman days. I don't know. But if you start a channel here on YouTube and you're nervous, you know, join the club, right? <laughs> We're all nervous. We all say silly things. There's lots of ums and ahs. And I don't know if you're the in the range of people that say like all the time. I try really hard not to say like. Well, I do sometimes but you know that's just the way it is 
I think that it, it's all just part of our personality. And if you say like all the time, then whoever is watching you and liking you, it's not going to matter. So show up with the gray hair, which I have plenty of now. Show up with or without makeup. Actually, put a little on today for you today. <laughs> but uh, show up in your beat up clothes. Show up in your dirty studio. It's not dirty. Well, it is kind of dirty. But this, this is life. This is what my studio looks like all the time. I can clean it when I'm trying to procrastinate and not paint or, you know, I'm stuck. But in reality, I'm a hot mess. I'd like to say I'm more of a hot, hot mess, but it, it's just a hot mess. It's a, it's a mess. But you know what? This is my mess. And I know where most everything is most of the time. And there's no sense in fighting it. I'm not a, I'm not a t tidy person, neat and tidy person. It's just, it's just the way it is. And a long time ago, I think, well, not that long ago, probably when I hit 50, I stopped caring what anybody thought. And if you wanted to come over to my house and it's a mess, you know what? Come on over. That's how it always is. It is what it is, right? I love that saying. It is what it is. So ways to sell your art online or, you know, showing up on social media. And for our age, it, it can be difficult, but we just have to do it because you know why? There's so much we have to offer to people our own age, younger than us. We show them that we are worthy to be on here just as much. We may not have our looks anymore, or maybe they're not as good as they used to be. Uh, but we have so much more than looks. You know, looks are fleeting, right? Uh, we all know that. It is what it is. <laughs> You're right, there's that phrase again. But it's okay. I want to show up as myself, and it, as myself behind my own eyes, I see myself as an upbeat, happy person. I like to laugh. I like to make others laugh. Um, I'm a mess. And I love to create art and sometimes it's ugly art and sometimes it's cool looking art, but I just show up in the studio as much as I can. Uh, and you need to show up yourself as well. And I think that it's really important to, to bring our viewers along with us. Our viewers who hopefully turn into collectors, right? That's what the ultimate goal is, to sell our art or to get it out there in the world. I mean, that's my goal is to sell my art. I'd like to monetize this YouTube channel too. So, hey, this is your cue. Please like and subscribe. And do you know what helps more than anything is if you will watch the video from start to finish. That tells YouTube that I've got something that you like and it will show other people that are similar to you the video and my video doesn't get buried or worse not shown or suggested at all so thank you please uh like and subscribe i would so appreciate that and i really do thank you thank you so much so if you want to be your authentic self how does that show up as i guess maybe you know as an artist I think a, a lot of it's a solitude uh, job. I, I don't know if it's, is it a job? I guess it's a job, it's my job, right? But it's more of that, it's more of a, it's a way of living, right? It's how we live our life, it's everything we do. It's whether you drink coffee or tea, I'm a tea drinker. Uh, I love tea all days of the week, every hour of the day that I'm drinking something, I have I actually have like four or five of these cups, so don't think that I don't wash my cup. I got a bunch of these. Anyway, that's part of me. When I come down to my studio, uh, I have rituals that I do. I look around and uh, first of all, I'll go, you know, it's in the basement. <laughs> I want to light some incense because, you know, my parents were hippies and I love incense. And so that's just part of who I am as well. And I love to listen to music while I'm painting or a podcast. Or sometimes I'll even run YouTube videos and let them run while I'm painting. And you have to be, you do have to be careful about copyright infringement as far as music goes on YouTube. You know, nothing will get you kicked off faster than trying to play some music that you like in the background. So with that in mind, you still need to be your authentic self. Maybe put some earbuds in. 
that's a thought, right? Uh, some headphones while you're painting and videoing yourself. Because really, who videos the entire time? I guess there's some. But uh, if you're like me, I'm constantly having to delete stuff off my phone so I have room for more videos. That's just me, right? That's just how I am. I'm, I'm not very good about keeping track. I've got phone, uh, phone video and photos from years ago. And I have backed it up, but it's still on my phone. That's part of me showing up just as who I am. And that's what I want to encourage you to do today as well. Uh, in a sea of people that are following trends and trying to do the same thing as person A did because it worked for them, B person C or Z, <laughs> you know, do what is authentic to yourself. And if you can do that, then I think that that will take you far and wide for with your collectors and with people that haven't met you yet. Because, you know, you can always tell um, when someone is being genuine, right? I can. I've got a bullshit meter like no others. And I learned that from my dad. My mom, not so much. But my dad, you know, he knew. And he taught that to me. And I think that most people have that uh, meter in themselves and they can they could tell if you're not being genuine with them or if you're being fake or if something you're trying too hard or if it's if, if it just doesn't come natural to you now okay so granted talking to this little circle on my phone is it's not real natural I'm used to you know I talk a lot with my hands I I actually how I act with other people kind of depends on how they act, right? So I get feedback verbally and mentally, and so that will either egg me on or it will cool me down. I gotta calm down maybe a little. I'm a little, I'm a little hyper sometimes. You wouldn't know it, but uh, I am kind of, I've been told I'm hyper. I thought I was pretty relaxed, but I've had enough people say that, uh, you know, I talk a lot, and I do, but I'm alone all day in my studio or on my computer and so when I see people I'm excited <laughs> and I like to exchange ideas and find out how are you doing how are you really doing and to me that is that's who I am and and I genuinely care if I ask you how you're doing I wait for that answer because I really want to know and that's who I am. And that's who I hope I come across as, as a genuine, loving, fun-loving person who loves to belly laugh and drink tea and watch scary movies. And I ghost hunt. Yeah, you can laugh at me. I laugh at me sometimes. And, you know, that's just who I am. And that's how, that's how I have to show up. And I want to encourage you, show up as yourself. We can't be anybody else. You just have to be yourself. It's so much easier when you just let go of all these preconceived notions in your head. I've got to be this. I have to have that. And you know, growing up in the 70s and 80s, especially the 80s, the, you know, the world was like that, right? You always looked, tried to look your best, right? And, and you didn't go out with that unless you were made up and done. And, and, and that has never been me. That has just, that has never resonated with me. Of course, I've always wanted to try to look my best. But if I go out without makeup and looking like a hobo, then, you know, I just, I just don't even care anymore. Uh, I've got things to do and places to be and limited time to do it in. So it's so much easier and relaxed if you just allow your own personality to shine through. Make no apologies for who you are. I'm not going to apologize for me being a little spastic and a little here and a little there. My stories go way off and I forget what I'm talking about and I look at myself in the camera too much and, you know, fuck it. <laughs> it's just the way it is, right? I have to watch that because I don't think, I don't know if I can even be monetized if I say the drop the f-bomb which brings me to another point Th cussing is just part of my language it just comes out it's just the way it is I don't apologize for it that's, that's why I look at it however there is a time and a place for everything right so I'm not going to try to 
to have as much cussing in these videos, even though that kind of goes against what I just said. But if you want to get monetized like I do, and, and why not, right? There isn't that many in, in the whole scheme of things on YouTube. If you did a search right now, look for, if you're an artist, look for... Uh, older generation artists or over 50 artists or whatever your demographic is right now and you will see that we are way under uh, what is the word I'm looking for way under shown um, represented that's the word <laughs> Ding! It, it came it came uh, we're underrepresented because I think part of it is some of us are not very tech savvy and you know what you just learn as you go Google is your friend. YouTube is your friend. Type, if you don't know how to do something, type it in. That's how I find most of the answers that I do. That's for art techniques, um, painting techniques, drawing, whatever, video techniques, camera help, computer help. Now, I have had the advantage of being able to work on a computer pretty much my adult life the entire time. So, you know, some things may, may come a little easier, but you are not too old to learn. My dad is, how old is he? He was born in 48. I'm really bad at math. I think he's 76. I think, I think that's right. You know what? Screw it. I'm bad at math. It's just the way it is. I'm pretty sure he's 76. And he works on the computer to this day. So if he can do it, you can do it. I want to encourage you to just keep trying and never give up. Always be yourself. People will come to you, flock to you, if you're yourself. That is so important with art. We can't create like other people. We don't want to create like other people. We want to create like ourselves. We want to have our own niche, our own authentic self shine through our paintings and our videos and any other social media that you use. Just the biggest advice I can say is just be yourself and don't apologize for it. And if you feel like, I think women have more of a hard time with this, if you feel yourself wanting to apologize, stop. Zip it, stop talking, let the other person speak first. That is an, a business tip that an old boss of mine gave me. The first person who talks loses, right? Uh, so, I've tried it and it's worked in a few instances. So that's what I have to say. If you want to apologize, just stop. Don't. Just be yourself. There's nobody like you. You're perfect just in every little imperfect perfection thing that you have. And I love you and I want to encourage you to keep on doing this. To If you haven't started, start now. Start your YouTube channel today. Sign up do it. Uh, what have you got to lose, right? If for nothing else, you're documenting your work, you are leaving a legacy for your family and friends, collectors, and it's just kind of fun to go back and, and look. I've got videos that are several years old. This channel of mine, I am redoing it. I am trying to treat it differently than I used to before. I would just put little snippets here and there. I really didn't know how YouTube worked. I still don't really understand how it fully works. I'm learning new stuff every day because I try to educate myself every day on what will work. And the way that it works is to use it. If you don't use it, it's not going to work, right? So show up as yourself. Show your ugly art. Show your beautiful art. Show your beautiful face, your ugly face your ugly gray hair, your your pretty gray hair, whatever you've got, just show up and be yourself because that is what is going to sell your art online is to show up as yourself. I don't know, I've probably beaten this horse to death with be yourself, but that is my message today. So I hope uh, that you have gotten at least a something that you like out of this video and if you've lasted this long thank you so much and i hope to, to see you again here leave me a comment i would love to share with you my knowledge that i have um, but i don't know where to start i don't know what you want to know so leave me a comment down below please 
uh, like and subscribe the video to the video and give me some ideas on what to record about or hey use that idea and you record it right uh, that's the way to do it be yourself <laughs> one more time be yourself <laughs> all right I'm Jamie Haney come see me on my website or here on YouTube and I guess I'll see you next time <laughs> thanks bye